Hi, I'm Tim Van Milligan. Today I'm going to do something a little bit different. Um, I'm going to show you, instead of how to build a rocket, I'm going to show you how we make parts for some of the rocket kits that we make here at Apogee Components. I'm holding in my hand here um, the Apogee Hellerock kit. And this nose cone, right now it's painted white, but it's actually a plastic part. And we make that here in house. And it's actually made out of resin. And it's, it's very unique in that in the resin we have little posts, and these are little metal posts. And the purpose of these is so that we can put a rubber band onto that post. If you can see that. And then I can stretch it across here, and that becomes an anchor point for the for one end of the rubber band. Okay, so to make these, we use silicone rubber molds, and that's what this was right here. Now, this is the cheap way for to make plastic parts. Um, since we're not doing high volume, if we did a high volume, we would probably make a steel part and have it done at an injection molder or a blow molder. This is made out of rubber, so it doesn't last as long, but it's a lot cheaper. Um, and if you're interested in making these, um, we have a technical report, I think it's technical publication number 13, that describes how to make rubber molds for making parts like this. So, now the first thing I need to do is to put into the mold these little metal pins. And now these pins, I'm just going to make out of ordinary music wire. And if you can see this, you can close up. And I'm just going to take it and I'm going to bend the tip over. So we got like a little L, and then I'm going to cut it off. And I should be wearing my safety goggles when doing this, because these little metal parts, sometimes they can fly around. And I've got three little posts. I thought I put one in there already. Yep, I sure did. Okay, so... So I'm going to pick it up with the tweezers, I'm going to just grab one end, and I'm just going to drop it. And I know this is hard to see, and I'll get a close-up of this later, but there's little holes in here. I'll just drop them into those holes, and there's three of them. And sometimes you need a little extra light to see inside the hole. Okay, so now I do have them positioned, and now we're going to go and make the resin, which is the fun part. So, let me get my safety goggles, because we're going to be using urethane resin. It's a two-part mix. And I'm going to pause here, and I'm going to put on my gloves. Okay, so I'm here at our, our resin table, we call it. And you can see there's there's resin, there's these rubber molds. These are uh, molds for Saturn V fins. And I got extra molds because if I pour too much resin, then I'll just dump it into another mold. And so that way I'm not I'm not wasting anything. Um, so over here we have a scale, and I'm just going to grab a little plastic cup, put that on the scale, let it settle down, and I'm going to tear it out. So now the scale reads zero. because sometimes it does splash and that's why you want to wear your safety goggles and I'm just going to do 20 grams or thereabouts and at 20.2 grams so now when you're ever mixing anything what you do you just tear this out again and now all I have to do is put now it's back to zero so now I just have to do is just put in another same amount of this part and this one you have to go a little slower because you don't want to overshoot. I'm at 10 grams right now. 20.2. Give me one more drop. Alright. Okay, and I'm just going to take a stir stick and stir it up. Now, 
once the two are mixed together, it starts a chemical reaction. And this chemical reaction uh, does get a little bit warm, so you can kind of feel it as you're stirring it. I can feel it in my hand that it is a little bit warmer. And this particular resin uh, cures in about three minutes. So in three minutes from now, it should be done. But I do want to make sure I got it stirred really well. So don't rush this process. Make sure it's stirred. Okay, so now these are the rubber molds that I'm going to pour into. And this really helps when, when you're kind of on the wrong end. But to use a stick and pour against the stick, and that way it follows the stick down right into the mold so it doesn't uh, go everywhere. See, it's going nicely into that hole there. And just fill it up to the top. And just move to the next one. Now we wait for this to cure and you can come on closer and you can kind of see it when it kicks off. We'll wait. <laughs> okay, now you can see them starting to go. You see on the inside it's turning kind of a cream color. It's it's it uh, cures from the inside towards the outside because the, the heat is trapped towards the inside, so the inside is hotter, so the chemical reaction is quicker in the middle than it is on the edges. And as you can see, it's, it's starting to get real thick right now. Okay, so now here's one that I did earlier, and this one's been sitting probably about 30 minutes right now. And to get them out of the mold, the silicone is its own lubricant, so we just kind of just bend it back and then what I do is I grab it from the bottom and just push it out and see I kind of squeeze it all together and then you just kind of wiggle it out and so you can see where the little posts are and that's how you make a resin nose cone so this will go into somebody's kit and the Hellerock kit's a great kit so you're going to want to get one anyway <laughs>